Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Omochuku, depending on your location. Please note that Victory Express is your own channel where you get the authentic and confirmed news. Please like and share. It's also very important you turn on your notification bell so that you'll be getting our updates. And more importantly, always use the comment section for your criticism and commendation. Now, the news update. Fanika Yode, a man who was Kano's handbag, is now encouraging suppression of Igbos in Lagos. That's according to Atiku. Now, Atiku Abubakar, the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate in the February 25th charade conducted by Nigeria, has lamented the violent attacks that took place in Lagos during the governorship and state assembly elections. Atiku said that talks we are working for the APC talks who we are working for the APC, we are profiling voters and we are beating up those that were Igbos and telling them to go back home. In a statement he released through his assistant on public communication, Frank Scheibel, Atiku tackled the former aviation minister, that is Femi Fanikayode, and Baya Onanuga, the spokesperson for Tinibu and the APC presidential council, yes, on a, for encouraging the intimidation of Igbos in Lagos. He said that for someone like Fanny Kayode, who was a handbag of the IPOB leader, Namdi Kano, is, now, is the one now encouraging the suppression of Igbos in Lagos. In the report, which was made available by newsmen, Atiku said that what happened in Lagos State shows that Tinubu would rule Nigeria like Adolfus Hitler ruled Germany. In his words, I quote, what the world witnessed in Lagos at the March 18th gubernatorial election was nothing short of Nazism. It was the tactic employed by Adolf Hitler in the 1930s. At that time, they engaged in profiling and used the Jews as their punching bag. Today, Tinubu has launched an assault on Ibu and all non Yoruba speakers in Lagos. Now, I'm talking about the Femi, Femi Fanika Yode, I think we said, for Fanika Yode, a man who was in the Kano's handbag, has suddenly become an ethnic supremacist, encouraging the suppression of the Igbo people in Lagos, all in a bid to impress his paymaster. End of quote. And so this is it. This is article statement concerning Femi Fanikayode. Now the the crisis that that uh, you know occurred in Lagos State prior to the election, gubernatorial election, and you know the House of Assembly elections that held last Saturday, talking about the 18th. March 2023 shows that people like Fanny Kayode, they are rogues. Sincerely speaking, this is a man that was actually, you know, being seen then as criticizing Buhari, as being the opposition, those who want Nigeria to be better, those who want things to be right in Nigeria. But look at what he's doing now, supporting evil. And so Atiku is calling him out, he's calling Fanny Kayode out and telling Nigerians and the Igbos and all who care to listen that. This was a man who was then, oh, being seen as, oh, he was on the side of Biafrans. A man who is against intimidation. He was seen as a man who is against oppression. He was seen as a man who is against, uh, you know, you know, inequality. Yes. Today, he is the one supporting evil, killings, maiming of people of the South East and Biafrans alike in Lagos. Encouraging talks and the hoodlums to attack people of the South East and their properties, to destroy it. Femi Fanika Yede. Then he was, in, if you go to his social media handle then, you see people who felt that, oh, this man is a man who has conscience. They were following him on social media handle. You know, when he was praising Onyendu Mazinabekano, little did people know that he was trying to use Onyendu, or trying to not use Onyendu actually, but trying to hide under that cover of Onyendu as a fortress. He was trying to hide under Onyendu as a fortress to, you know, because he has been left in the cold. He, is, he was frustrated by Buhari's regime. In the first four years, nothing for him. You know, he's a man that he cannot live without government money. That's Femi, Femi, Femi Fenegade. He cannot thrive in a private business. He can only, you know, continue to live on resources of the people. That's the man, Femi Fanikayode. We have not seen him in any venture privately successful. No. It's only, you know, hanging on the corridors of power, trying to see one government or the other to come on board that he will hide under them and begin to suck the resources of the people. 
That is it. So when PDP government left office, it was so bad for him that he was actually, you know, left or he was isolated. And uh, it's, uh, as a man who has no integrity, who has no dignity, who has no moral standing, so he was there seeking for a soccer. Let the people understand what he was doing then. So having seen the IPOB, having seen only the Muslim that they are for equity, they are for justice, they stand for a better society where all we feel happy and feel good. He now believes that he can hide under that cover and he says Buhari. Yes. And today what are we seeing? After much hunger has beaten him hard, the thing has reconfigured his head and they have accepted him into their fold. Before he was saying that we are vultures, APC men, they were vultures. Today he's more than a vulture. He has joined the vulture gang. What happened in Lagos, Femi Fanika Ede was finding the ember of ethnicity, pushing the Igbo to the world, encouraging Aburo to attack the Biafrans. Yes. Then he was praising Onyendu. Okay, so that's why the scripture says, it's not all who, we are, who shouts, Abba Father, Abba Father, they are children of God, or that will enter the kingdom of God. They are sheep or wolf in sheep clothing. So he's a scavenger. Talking about Femi Fanico, is a scavenger. Yes, that's what he is. So he moves around as scavengers. That's all. And when people see him on their own side, they feel that, oh, they are with him. No, a man who has no integrity, who has no, who has his, who is standing for nothing, can fall for anything. Yes, he is on his stomach. His stomach is directing him and leading him wherever he's going. He doesn't has no integrity of any sort. All right? So he has shown that he cannot be trusted by Nigerians. I have seen him. Even the international community have seen him as a man that cannot be trusted. That is it. So he is looking for money to fund his you know, large appetite for promiscuity. Yes, his avaricious lifestyle. Yes, that's what he's trying to do. So deny him water, he will die. He's like a fish. That is it. So it is like those days in the scripture where the Jews were shouting, Oh, the, the Messiah, the Messiah. After a few days shouting, Oh, Messiah is our king. Messiah is our king. They say, crucify him, crucify him. After a few days. That's Femi Fanica there. So he's a, he's a Pharisees of those days, the Sadducees. They wash the outer layer of the cup, whereas the inside is dark, it's dirty and murky. That's Femi Fanikayede, a man that cannot be trusted.